Okay, so I don't have these libraries. D A A G. So we have first one, I think second one is there, third is not there. To install a package, we go to the fourth window, click packages, and then click install B P L Y R. Another one is ggplot2, and then correlation plot, C-O-R-R, plot. Okay, now everything is ready. And we'll name this file week two, save as, when we name this file week two, week-2.r, and when you go under files, you will see that file is located here. Type data and then within quotes, all lowercase p o s s u m. These are some pictures of like how a possum looks like. So, not a very huge data set. It has 104 observations and 14 variables. Variables are like case, site, site at which these possums are found. A dictionary of each of these variables, if you like to know, you can always do question mark possum. For example, site is one of the seven locations where possums were trapped. POP, a factor variable, which classifies these sites, age, head length, skull length, total length, and so on. So when we do summary, whatever R considers as numeric variable, it gives us this kind of summary like minimum, maximum, first quartile, third quartile, median, and mean. When it sees a variable as a factor variable, it just counts. So in our data set, we have 43 female possums, 61 male possums. Sometimes we have to cut data in different ways. Even to make visualization, for example, we may have to look at data in a different way. And that's where these kind of commands will be useful. If you want to select a subset of the data, we can make use of command called select. So let's say we have our data called possum. And then within this package called the dplyr, dplyr, there's a feature like this percentage greater than percentage it's called pipe just like we connect two things with a pipe what this pipe does is it takes the input from the left and gives it to the next whatever it sees on the right side so percentage greater than percentage there's a shortcut also shift command m so this is what i used for shortcut and say select Suppose I want to select first three. So let's say 10th to 14th column. If you run this, it's selected first three and then 10th to 14th. And if we want to specify anything in between, we, we can always add that. For example, let's say we want first, we don't want second and third, we want seventh and then maybe 14th. So select function, basically helps you to select only specific columns. So with possum, we add a pipe and then use filter. So when you type filter, it tells you that there's a filter function from deep layer package. So suppose we only want data from female possums. So there's a variable called sex and it takes only two values, M and F. And for equal in R, we don't use one equal sign, but two equal signs. This is equal and within quotes, lowercase f, because I can see these are two lowercase f and m. So if you look at uh, this column, you can see all of them are f. You can also combine two things. So let's say we want this variable pop. So there are like vic and other, uppercase vic. You will note that now it pulls data only where POP is a VIC and sex is F. If you also want to include another filter, let's say age is less than four. So now you can see in age column, all the numbers are less than four. So let's do this. We'll copy the previous one, paste it here. 
instead of getting that output as it is uh, let's arrange them in some order we'll select a variable like maybe belly and put it in a descending order if you want to add one more you'll have to again connect this to another pipe and i'm going to hit enter and go to the next row because you don't want to make this too long arrange this first one let's say we want descending order so descending and let's choose belly same thing the only difference is that now this data is arranged as per this last variable if you just say belly and run so default is ascending order this is the lowest and then this is the highest so let's copy the filter one and then connect this to summarize let's do average of uh, belly average so this average is name given by us we can name it as we like but after that uh, we are using r function to find average we use mean and then we specify belly so if you run this it will give you one number those possums which are female and pop is weak and have age less than four their average uh, belly girth in centimeters so that average is about 31.5 centimeters once we have this setup we can easily do it for other situation let's say everything same except we want it for male so i simply change f to m for male possums belly girth is about 32.3 centimeters male possums have slightly bigger belly one good thing about summarize is that you can add as much you like so i'm going to put a comma here and hit enter we'll do standard deviation so sd and belly it calculates average as well as standard deviation we can say count so this average is based on how many persons so standard deviation is based on how many persons for count simply type n and then open close parenthesis nothing inside so n is like sample size so when you run this it tells you that there are 11 possums on which average or summary is calculated copy the previous code and paste it below group by in the filter i'll just take out the other two i'll just keep one variable and then after this uh, pipe i'm going to add one more line so after filter and uh, before summarize i'm going to insert group by so group underscore by so let's say we want to group by site another thing to remember is that when we are uh, doing this exploratory data analysis or trying to cut data in different ways at the end of each function we have to insert this pipe so for example this ends with pipe this ends with pipe this is a continuation of summarize we are doing summary in terms of mean standard deviation and sample size so that's one whole thing but before that we should insert a pipe so what it will do it will start with possum data and out of that extract only this part where sex equals m and then it will group by sites and for each site it will tell us what is the average belly girth in centimeters for the male possums what is the standard deviation and what is the sample size so it will create this small table we can always add another pipe at the end and arrange this data as per anything that we are interested in for example if you want to arrange as per this average in descending order so site number 4 has the highest average for male possums site number 5 has the lowest if you want to arrange this as per sds standard deviations you can do that also so maximum variability in belly girth of male possums is on site number 2 and minimum variability is at site number 3 okay let me ask a quiz question which site has the lowest standard deviation for female possums site 6 site 6 sometimes we want to create our own variable and we can do that by using mutate so i'm going to use our possum data add a pipe and we'll still do group by so 
So I'm using entire data, no filtering. And we are still going to group by site. While doing summarize, let's create a new variable. We'll do tail length divided by total length. In a way, it will be like tail ratio compared to the total length. So let's call this new variable ER, where we are doing sum of tail and actually it's tail L. So one more L. So this is the one divided by sum of T O T L and G T H. So instead of typing the whole thing, it's better to select so that we don't make a spelling error. And then I will go outside the first, the parenthesis and put a comma to add one more count N open close. And I need one more parenthesis. So that will give us for each site data on a new variable TR. And if needed, we can again do arrange descending TR. So TR in descending order, tail to total length ratio is highest for site number six and lowest for site number one. If you have to plot this or you want to do something and you want to save it somewhere and you have all this here, you can easily go at the beginning and uh, maybe call it my data and put an arrow. So whatever output you see, it will go in my data. So you see my data here. So that small table is stored here. 